The best multivitamin really on the market, as far as I'm concerned, is three per day, two in the morning, one in the evening after meals. It doesn't supply enough magnesium and calcium though, because even three capsules per day just of calcium probably isn't enough. So you have to take calcium and magnesium separately, and that's why I say we've got BioCalMag, which is our calcium glycinate, magnesium glycinate combination. Or if you want to separate your calcium and magnesium, we've got a plain calcium glycinate and a plain magnesium glycinate. Not everybody needs to take calcium and magnesium, however. If you eat two servings of dairy a day, two glasses of milk, or one glass of milk and a tub of yogurt, uh, then you are getting enough calcium. And remember the concerns that I mentioned earlier about getting too much calcium. So calcium really are for people that don't get enough calcium in their diet. Dark, leafy green vegetables like spinach and any dark, leafy vegetable has also got calcium, but you need to eat a big plate full of that per day to get 50% of your calcium requirements. So if you eat a big plate of greens per day and some slices of cheese or yogurt or milk, you're probably getting enough calcium. If you're not, you then need to be taking calcium, preferably calcium glycinate. Magnesium, you get in foods that have fiber. So just think fiber foods breakfast cereals, nuts, seeds, peas, lentils, chickpeas, anything where you look on the side of the tin, if you're going to buy a tin food, or so, and it says there it contains 8 grams of fiber or more per 100 grams, will always have high levels of magnesium. And if you eat, say, a handful of nuts per day, or you eat seeds and legumes, you're getting enough magnesium. Otherwise, you need to supplement with magnesium. Now, with magnesium, we don't have the concerns that we have with calcium that too much is actually quite, could be bad for your heart. Magnesium, if you have too much, it actually normally is quite good for your heart. Magnesium is, in fact, one of the cardiovascular protective nutrients, one of the most important things you can do for your heart. It also helps with muscle function. It also helps prevent anxiety and depression. And it also helps with sleep. People sleep better on magnesium. That's why I normally recommend to people take your magnesium at night because it helps you sleep. And it doesn't interact with iron. So the, the, the iron inside your meat, let's say at night time, will not interact with your magnesium. But your calcium will interact with your, with your meat. And that's why I say take calcium in the morning, because there's normally no iron in your meals in the morning. Um, and also there's this thing that, oh, but don't you have to take calcium and magnesium together for a better absorption? The answer is no. Okay? If you don't, where, the, where this, this urban legend came from is if you are deficient in magnesium, your body won't absorb calcium well. If you are deficient in calcium, your body won't absorb magnesium well. So in other words, you cannot be suffering from a deficiency in your entire body of one because then the other one won't be absorbed well. But, so in other words, in a sense, having enough calcium helps the absorption of magnesium. Having enough magnesium in your body helps the absorption of calcium. But if given together at the same time, they both have a plus two charge and they both are absorbed at the same points in the intestine. And you can actually get a reduction just through competition. We call that competitive antagonism. Uh, competing for absorption into the body, you can get a reduction in both. But even that reduction is theoretical. It's academic. It might be two, it might be 5%. It's not significant. So we're talking a lot of theory here. So you can either take it in a combined form, BioCalMag, um, or you can take them separate. I tend, I am a bit more partial to taking them separate. Calcium in the morning, magnesium at night. But you can take them together. And once again, we're using the glycinate salts, which are the best forms. So a very good multivitamin combination would be three per day and BioCalMag. And maybe a fish oil omega-3 extract. You really are then covering a person's health from all aspects in terms of basic supplementation. You can then start looking at other things, like do you want to give them something for liver detoxification, like N-acetylcysteine or silibinin because they drink too much, or curcumin because it protects the curcumin as a herb, particularly that protects the lungs against the carcinogenic effects of, of, of smoke, of cigarette smoke. So if you have a smoker, please put them onto curcumin, one capsule twice a day. One of the most important things they can do to reduce their risk of getting lung cancer. Once again, it's about risk reduction. Not going to obliterate risk, so please, this is not something that's going to uh, make it as if you weren't a smoker, but it reduces risk. Remember, it also does nothing to protect against the other effects of smoking, which is increased heart attack risk, blood clotting risk, blood pressure. Okay, because those are, those are effects once, they, once the cigarettes are inside your, inside your body. Um, and I'll explain how to use this, this, this product guide in a short while because this will guide you through how to recommend different products. You don't need to remember it all. It's all inside here. 